y'all it's modestly more this is going to be a tutorial on how to achieve two hand twists i've been transitioning now for about nine months and this has been my go-to style so if you're interested in how to get this look then please keep watching all right so i'm just going to take a wide tooth comb it's always best to use wide tooth combs you don't want to use a small one because it will cause breakage um you can part it however you like sometimes i use the middle part sometimes i go ahead and do my deep side parts just depending on how you're feeling And once I got to the middle, I went ahead and parted straight. You can put your part anywhere you want. Um, to the back, all the way down the middle to the back. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and twist that part that I sectioned off so that I can start my first twist. And I'm just gonna twist that around. Take a bobby pin and go ahead and pin that out of the way. So now um, we're just going to take the dimming brush and go ahead and go brush it out. It's been nine months into my transitioning process. My hair is really thick, if you can't tell. My texture is just changing like crazy. I don't remember my hair ever being this thick. This is the Curls Ash and Fruits. I love it so much. It works well with water and it just helps all those fly away. It gives you a smoother look in whatever style you use. You can use it with twist style, twist, whatever style. It works great. All right, and then I'll take some edge control. This is the Silk Element Straight Edge. All right, so I'm just gonna keep putting that on my edges. I'm from Detroit, and us Detroit girls love sleek edges. What, honey? <laughs> gonna take a brush and just smooth the edges with the brush. Don't brush too hard. You don't wanna be rough on your edges. Right here, I'm just gonna start twisting. I like more of a chunky twist, so I'm gonna take bigger pieces when I start to twist. And I'm just gonna twist that all the way until I get to the back. When I twist, I like to twist closer to the hairline, just so the twist doesn't look far back. So when I get to the side, I make sure I bring it as far down as I can, and then I start to twist around to the back. I'm just gonna twist that all the way to the back. All right, so I'm done with this side. I'm just gonna take the bobby pin out of my hair over here, take my dimming brush, comb it out. Again, my hair is damp. And the curl stuff, it just smells so good. I promise when you get it or if you already have it you know what it's like and if you don't have it I promise you will love it and I'm just putting um, a little bit more on there and the great thing about this stuff if you use too much just use water all right and I'm just gonna do the same thing over here twist all the way to the back I used to have that problem where ends were straight and I wasn't able to keep it sealed on the end and I would use a clip to keep it until I got to the other side. Do not use rubber bands. They aren't good for your hair, especially not on your ends. Just twist it all the way to the end. And I just like to pull out my little side pieces and make those into little cute curls. I just like to twist it tighter then I like seal it with the bobby pin or secure it with the bobby pin I'm just gonna do the same for both twists until I feel like they're secure um, sometimes I use two sometimes I use three bobby pins it just all depends on your comfort all right and once you feel like it's secure and put in place you're all done now this is the final look my go-to transitioning hairstyle